Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for June 20th through 26th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So we do have some gentler energy this week. So a little bit of spring in your step you may be feeling if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. We do have summer solstice um, solstice, thank you, on the 21st, okay, so longest day of the year, you might be feeling a little bit rejuvenated or energized, or maybe you're feeling really creative um, in that energy. We also do have a very powerful connection between Venus and Pluto this week, so we've got a lot of love in the air, okay, so it's a great time to get out and meet new people, new friends, perhaps new romantic interests, great time to spend with your significant other, okay, or the people in your life that you care about but it's also a great week to do something nice for yourself to practice a little bit of self-love self-care treat yourself to something even if it's the gift of time okay very free but very hard to come by sometimes so we do have a cycle um, card coming out here for you today with transformation. So you may be entering a new phase in your world where you are making some changes, some very positive changes for yourself. Okay, this can be something very minor for you, but that actually has a big impact. It can be shift, um, simply a shift in your way of thinking. It can be you just, um, you know, uh, changing some habits or patterns or behaviors that you may have. Okay, some of you may be contemplating some big changes for the future. So whatever it is, that's going on in your world. You're entering a new cycle of transformation, personal growth, letting go of the past, embracing the future. And again, if you know, it doesn't have to be big, right? We get these, we get these energies, especially on a weekly reading and we get these energies. You're not all making major life changes every single week, right? But it's that cycle. So this, the universe is very supportive of you making some positive change um, in your world in some way. This can be personal growth or spiritual growth for you as well. So perhaps you're kicking things up a notch um, in your world somewhere there as well. But this could also just be a week for you where things do shift a little bit, where there's change in the wind, um, and you may need to just kind of ride the little bit of wave, right? Just go with the flow, roll with the punches. And we do also have for you a spirit energy coming in here. And this is the angels of the four directions, but it's in the reverse. So this particular card in the reverse doesn't mean anything negative or anything like that. It's not even a warning. There's four angels that are attached to this particular energy. And in the reverse, this is bringing you the energy of Archangel Michael and Gabriel. So Archangel Michael is bringing you in some power, some stability, okay? And it also does represent a shift in your energy or in your environment. So Archangel Michael is here to help you power through any obstacles or challenges or to power, help you power through and make some changes in your world as well. Okay, so whether this is, um, you know, some personal changes, something in your career path, your relationships, whatever it is, Archangel Michael is giving you that extra boost of stability and positive energy, okay, giving you that strength that you may need, okay, to rise above any kind of challenges and to follow your goals and your dreams. Gabriel is wonderful energy, bringing you in the gift of communication, so um, this can be communication, the stories you tell yourself, okay, perhaps if you've been feeling a little bit negative, okay, or you're down on yourself, okay, or you talk bad about yourself. Sometimes we engage in self-depreciation um, so that we prevent other people from doing it, but it's really kind of a form of negative um, self-talk, and it actually doesn't serve us any good. So I think here that um, Michael and Gabriel are really helping you to change that if that's what you do to yourself. We all get there we all do that at some point we all get down on ourselves okay we all we always you know and not everybody does it all the time right but we do sometimes just get in that oh in that energy where we're just so down on ourselves so I think here there's a big uh, shift okay a big flip in there for you okay but Gabriel brings you communication of all kinds okay spiritual communication communication with other people Okay, and if you do need to have an important conversation with somebody, or let's say you're going on an interview or anything like that, call on Archangels Michael and Gabriel to help you power through. 
All right, so let's see what else that we've got coming out for you. I do have a card that is flying out for you already, and I think this is, okay, thank you. This is really going more on the side. We do have a 10 of wands there for you, okay? So um, I was gonna put it in, in part of your main reading, but they said no. So um, it's just really something on the sidebar, okay? So this can certainly mean that you have worked long and hard for something. This is your um, energy of persevering through any problems, issues, or challenges. Okay, and you know, the path forward is not always easy. It's quite often stressful. It's quite often filled with a lot of responsibilities and even insecurities along the way as well. The Ten of Wands does show that there has been a cycle, a journey that you've been on in some area of your life and that you're at the end of your road, okay? You're at the end of that path. So something is shifting and something is transforming, changing for you in your world. Now, this may be positive change that you initiate, because quite often the Ten of Wands does come in. Yes, we've got a heavy workload. We've got some backbreaking responsibilities, the weight of your world on your shoulders. And sometimes when we get that Ten of Wands energy, we've taken, uh, we've taken on more responsibility than we really should. We can't live in that energy for very long. Okay, and we all get in, in those times when we are stressed and burdened and we have so much on our plate that we just feel as though we can't keep going on, but we still keep going on forward. It's the human nature, right, to keep on persevering. But there may be something here that you have taken on someone else's responsibility. So it's when we get that Ten of Wands, there is something here that does need to change a little bit, okay? And so whether it is just taking a step back from your situation, having a look at where your priorities are, having a look at what you are ultimately responsible for. Um, are you taking on... Um, other people's um, issues, okay? Are you, sometimes we are come from a very good place, right? You got a very good heart there, Virgo. And sometimes we do things just to help others without really um, taking account of what what it will do for us and for our energy, right? And, you know, sometimes we make an offer to help somebody and then we regret it right away, okay? So there may be some boundaries that you need to put up. There may be some um, priorities that you do need to change and shift, okay? And there may also be, of course, a very important conversation. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, okay? A very important conversation that you may need to have with somebody. So again, call on your, um, call on Michael and Gabriel for a little bit of help there. Um, because of course, especially if you are putting up boundaries, it can be very difficult. Okay. Because quite often whoever or whatever situation or person is causing you that kind of stress. Okay. Um, sometimes when we do have that conversation to put up boundaries, they get pissed off. Okay. They get really upset. They get angry. They get ornery. And then they may even throw a guilt trip at you. Okay. Those kind of things. So really is important that you do have the angels there helping you, um, and supporting you through that process. And quite often, you know, the only people that get upset when we put up some personal boundaries or the very people that are taking advantage of you anyway. Okay, so it may be a necessity, but this can also just very simply represent that the 10 of wands, you've um, had a period of um, you know, um, a, a lot on your, a lot on your plate, a lot of responsibility, a lot of burdens. Okay. It's been a long, hard slog in some area of your life. And now there's change in the wind for you. So very positive energy that's coming in for you with a new cycle. We've got the two of cups, the three of swords, queen of cups. Well, excellent healing energy. We've got the knight of cups. Ooh, la la. And the Knight of Wands. Well, have a look at this. This is beautiful. We've got the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the Hanged Man bringing you in some underlying influence, some motivation. Okay, maybe even something uh, that is a little bit unseen for you. The Hanged Man is bringing in an energy of taking a step back. Okay, taking some time out. It is an energy of release, surrender, and sacrifice. Okay, so again, you may need to surrender some responsibilities there. Okay, shed some burdens somewhere along the way. But the hanged man is where we do take some time out, right? We don't take any outward action necessarily because it's all internal. And so you might be doing some big picture thinking. You might be open to someone's opinions or ideas or suggestions, okay, including those of the spiritual realm, okay? It's like, I give up. Okay, I need to release all of this energy. Okay, there's something that has been weighing heavily on me and I'm just going to, I need to release that. So 
your angels there can really help you to do that. But when we get that hanged man energy, this is a big picture way of thinking. Okay, it's looking at that big picture, looking at things from all angles. Um, and when we do that, we quite often get the answers that we're looking for. So there might be something that you need to take a step back and contemplate. Okay, or you may just need that time out, right? But we do have the two of cups right in the heart of your reading. So consider we've got two knights coming out here. Some of you may actually have some decisions to make, or maybe you're spending some time with people that you really enjoy. Okay, sometimes you really enjoy their company. The two of cups is, you know, love, happiness, balance, harmony. Okay, it's a really wonderful, positive connection that you may have with another person. Okay, so there might be a couple people in your life that you're spending some time with. Okay, the two of cups and the knight of cups here, there may be some sort of an offer of love or romance or friendship that may be on the table for you if you're single and looking for new love. As we said right at the beginning of your reading, we've got some very positive influences of Venus and Pluto coming in here for you this week. So you might actually be meeting um, somebody new. Perhaps you are taking some time out, maybe taking some time off and you're getting outside and you're socializing a little bit and you're making some new connections. So um, in the Queen of Cups here, we also may have some love on the table for you. Just saying, okay, so perhaps you even have a relationship of some sort that is evolving into the next stage, the next level, because that Knight of Cups can certainly represent an offer, okay, and the Queen of Cups, very, um, very positive emotions for the most part. But this can also be you opening up your spiritual self as well with that Two of Cups, okay? You're feeling good. You're feeling like you're in balance here because the Three of Swords here, there's something that's it's not working for you, not going your way. You've got it on your mind, but you've got this healing energy that is coming in here as well. So I think here that there may be something here that is kind of weighing down on you a little bit in your crowning position with the three of swords, something that is has not gone your way or something that's just been really difficult for you. And I think it's really kind of related to that 10 of wands energy. All right, something really weighing heavily on your mind, on your shoulders. All right, and I think you're you're here. I think you're making a very conscious effort to do something a little bit different, okay, or to restore some balance in your world. All right, so something just a little bit more positive than where you may be right now. And again, it may just be something minor. It might just be something in a certain portion of your world, right? Maybe you, you know, because the Two of Cups can bring you back balance and harmony, into your world also. So it could be that you are um, finding um, finding a sense of balance between your work life and your home life, okay? Or behind, between um, two people in your life as well, right? We do have two knights coming out here. So there could be a couple of people where, um, you know, maybe you're just uh, kind of restoring some um uh, some energy between those partnerships, those relationships there. Okay. Especially if you're in like in a workplace with that 10 of uh, wands energy, this can be that as well. Um, and think of if you're working like in a department or you've got a couple of people that you work closely with and perhaps here you might actually be the person that gets things done, okay? You might be the person that naturally um, takes on more than they should, okay? So again, there may be something here where you can, um, you know... Um, get things back on track and get everybody redistribute the responsibilities and get everybody back on the same page, right? So that one person isn't taking on all of the workload. Um, that can certainly be there for you this week. So it's, it's not always the easiest conversation to have because we don't want to like, you know, sometimes we feel a little bit guilty or we don't want to you know, upset the people that we work with, okay, or anything like that. But I think here, if you do have that conversation, um, if you approach it with a very positive kind of attitude, um, I think here that that'll work actually really quite well for you. I think you'll have a really positive outcome, okay? But there's certainly something here on your mind with that Three of Swords that is uh, weighing down on you a little bit. But I think here with the Queen of Cups energy um, right there in your subconscious, your underlying feelings, I think you're feeling as though you can heal, you can fix a situation. Okay, I think you also got your emotions under control. Some of you, yes, you may have love and family and relationships and connections all on your mind um, here as well. Okay, or you're just feeling like you want to spend some time with people. Some of you might actually, again, be leveling up or um, in a relationship. Okay, or making some new connections. Or again, just that that Queen of Cups. 
just feeling good, feeling really, feeling really good. And there's just something there minor that you need to sort out, but you have an ability here to really kind of fix things as you go along in your week. But the Queen of Cups, very spiritual energy, as is the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So again, we do have transformation here. So yes, we can certainly have a partnership of some sort in your world that is evolving and growing. Um, it may be new. Okay, it may be leveling up as well. And yes, it can be a personal relationship, but it can also be a business partnership as well. Okay, um, just something that is uh, really important that you need to get on track or, you know, um, something that does, uh, you know, require a little bit of change. Okay, just, you know, might be a little bit minor. Okay, but I think you're, you're feeling really good that you'll get things uh, where they want to be or you'll get things on track. Okay, the Three of Swords can also, by the way, be something where you have some huge expectations. Okay, the Queen of Cups energy and something comes in just a little bit subpar. Okay, and that can throw us in the in the Three of Swords energy sometimes. It's like it's not necessarily really bad and it's not what we wanted. Okay, and so if you think of, say, you know, a relationship um or something, or, you know, someone may have an offer for you, okay, and you might be thinking, oh, you know, if we put it in terms of money, say, okay, let's say you have like a job offer or something, right? And let's say someone said, okay, yeah, I'm going to pay you this amount of money, but you were expecting something much higher. Okay, the offer that comes in is still good, um, but it may not be what you wanted or what you were expecting. Okay, you had your your sights set higher. So again, that three of swords is temporary energy, um, but it can certainly just represent something that just doesn't match what we had expected. Okay, so but I think here you'll get over it. Okay, whatever it is for you, because we do have an offer of some sort. Okay, with the Knight of Cups, this can be an offer of love, romance, friendship. Okay, this can also be a very creative energy that's coming in for you. You might be feeling very creative in the week ahead as well with all of these emotions coming out here. We've got the Knight of Wands putting some idea um, into action, into motion. So that Knight of Cups can just be you um, getting, you know, getting things on track, getting started on something, okay? Um, something that is very positive for you, something that brings you some pleasure, some enjoyment, that Two of Cups, something that, that you know, um, that uh, you're just feeling really, really good. You're feeling the vibes, okay? Um, so certainly something where you are making some sort of movement there, but we do have a Knight of Wands here as well. Okay, so we do have some creativity in action. So you might just be feeling really inspired, really creative, and really energetic, by the way, um, in the in the week ahead. Okay, so whether that is within a relationship or in other, any other area of your life, okay, I think you've got some forward momentum here. You've got some movement. You've got some improvements. You've got things coming together in a very, very positive way. And um, you've just got so much positive energy. Yeah, we've got the Three of Swords. Okay, we do have the Ten of Wands there but look at the look at the transformation look at the change okay and it is um you know really quite positive for you so that hanged man energy really does play a very important role and not everyone likes it because it's not one of moving forward but sometimes we just need that time out we need that slower energy we need that opportunity to take a step back and assess the situation in a different kind of way got the lilies coming out there beautiful the book stars oh i love that that's so nice we've got the snake there's something that go does not go your way and we've got the tower so the where's my thing there we go so the lilies right in the heart here the lilies can represent a very important person in your world someone who is possibly an older male or someone with a masculine energy someone who is very wise and someone who is very mature okay and who may have some really good advice for you okay so if you've got some issues that are going on this person could play a key role the lilies also does bring about peace and satisfaction as well but it also does bring about something that is long term lilies take a while to grow and with the tower right beside it okay something strong and stable and something that has some staying power okay or something that um, you have a satisfactory outcome to an issue at hand because the snake here can certainly represent some sort of an issue okay I mean if, imagine if you opened your kitchen cupboard and you found a snake there you'd be like Ugh. okay so something here probably related to the three of swords okay something
something here that is either complicated, something here that you might not trust, right? You never want to snake around, okay? Um, perhaps there is someone around you where there's been a bit of a misunderstanding or, you know, perhaps there's this sense of betrayal or deception, okay? Something that you can't quite trust with a person in your world, but I think here that you are sorting some things out. So again, with the book there, um, with the book right here, there may be something that you need better understanding of, okay? The book brings you information. It also um, has you doing some research, keeping an open mind possibly, okay? There may be something that you don't know that you need to know in order to resolve a situation or in order to move forward and take the next steps, Okay, so that book can really have you being very cerebral, okay, it can be have you having an open mind, okay, but also maybe the need to research something can bring about surprises, okay, something unknown may come to light for you, all right, and you know, it can be something that maybe um, you are uh, writing some wrongs, okay, with that snake energy there, because there is some sort of complication or some sort of an issue there, but as we see from the rest of your cards, all very overwhelmingly positive I think you'll sort something out there, okay? Um, and it can be within a relationship because the snake energy does bring out the queen of clubs. The queen of clubs does represent a possible female, okay? Feminine energy um, with the king of spades there with the lilies, okay? It can be a male or female, or perhaps you are just balancing your masculine and feminine energies, mm -hmm. okay? Especially with that two of cups there, right? We need to get ourselves in balance and alignment to take Take the next steps, Knight of Wands, to move forward. Okay, but whatever it is, the tower energy here can represent that this is a workplace situation, okay, or can represent a long-term connection. So either something that you've had in place for a long time and you just need to kind of sort some things out, okay, or this can be something that has the potential to be a long-term um, connection or um, relationship or situation. Okay. But the tower can also bring in a pillar of strength for you as well. So you might be forming some very strong bonds, but whatever it is, the it stars energy here brings you about a whole bunch of luck. Okay. A lot of positive energy. Okay. And also it's very little bit of a futuristic energy here as well. So I think here that you really do have, and also brings your intuition by the way. Okay. So perhaps your intuition is really what's going to guide you to make some good choices or to resolving some issues but this does bring about like I said um, a lot of uh, a lot of luck on your side okay also brings that big picture thinking as well and um, so a lot of positivity that is coming into your reading so again we just have um, as the clarifiers we just have this snake there okay um, and that three of swords but everything else I think that you are sorting some things out okay so Again, probably some minor issues, but you're getting things right back on track. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope there was something here that resonated for you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous week. I'll see you later. Bye.